Russia's Alexandra Franceva had a strong start to the Super G race on the second day of competition at the 2013 IPC Alpine Skiing World Championships in La Molina, Spain. Her main rival in the women's visually impaired category, Henrietta Farkasova of Slovakia, made a few mistakes on her run, costing her valuable time and leaving the winning spot wide open for the Russian. Franceva found a good line, sticking close to her guide Pavel Zavatin on the turns. They finished in 1 minute 18.2 seconds to claim Russia's first gold of the competition. The event also saw an impressive show from the British athletes who took the other two spots on the podium. After yesterday's bronze in the downhill, Kelly Gallagher, guided by Charlotte Evans, took silver. And Jay Detherington, who only had two practice runs with her new guide, John Clark, before the race, took bronze. Наш здание самые положительные чувства тоже самые радостные. Но работы предстоит много. 19-year-old Marie Bochet of France picked up her second gold of the competition in the women's Super G standing. She won silver in the event at the World Championships two years ago. Bochet used her finely tuned slalom skills to negotiate the course. And just look at the way she's powering into those turns. What an absolutely stunning performance. And she really picked up speed on the steep second section of the race. Three medalists from Wednesday's downhill finished on the podium, but Bochet's teammate and defending champion Solène Jean Vaquet moved up to second place, and Germany's Andrea Rothfuss moved down to third. Euh, c'est juste euh, incroyable, génial, euh, j'ai pas beaucoup de mots pour décrire, c'est pas vraiment des disciplines dans lesquelles je me sentais euh, vraiment à l'aise en début de saison, donc c'est vrai que gagner mes deux titres ici euh, en Super G et en descente c'est juste extraordinaire et je suis vraiment très très heureuse. Austria's Claudia Lush made up for the disappointment of finishing outside the medals in Wednesday's downhill by taking a stunning gold in the women's sitting class. As she picked up speed, she put real energy into her turns, though some sliding cost her time. Lush really went for it on the second part of the slope, and her time of 1 minute and 18.86 seconds was well ahead of her nearest competitors. Germany's Anna Schaffelhuber put her strong technical skills into practice to pick up silver in the event, and USA's downhill world champion Laurie Stevens won bronze. With USA's Alana Nichols sitting out the race, victory was Lush's for the taking, but she said there was no room for complacency. Also Siege sind nie einfach. Elena ist sicher eine starke Konkurrentin, die leider weggefallen ist. Aber ich habe heute so einen Wahnsinnslauf erwischt, also da hätte sich wahrscheinlich sogar der Elena ziemlich schwer getan.
Spain's John Santacana and his guide Miguel Galindo Gathis maintained their 100% record in La Manina by following up downhole gold with a successful defence of their world title in the men's visually impaired class. Santacana kept incredibly close to his guide so as not to lose direct sight of him. His guide Galindo Gathis, on the other hand, regularly looked back to check the distance. Santacana never held back with his speed to finish with over a second lead time. Canada's Chris Williamson, guided by Robin Femi, won his second successive World Championship silver in Super G. Bronze was won by Switzerland's Hugo Thomas, guided by Luana Bergamin. Pues nunca se sabe, la verdad es que el esquí es un deporte muy complicado ¿no? en el que influyen muchos factores. Yo creo que tendremos eh, posibilidades en las tres disciplinas que, que restan todavía y bueno, lo vamos a afrontar evidentemente con muchísimas ganas y mucha motivación después de la confianza que nos han dado estos dos oros, así que nunca se sabe. Austria's Marcus Salcia also remains undefeated after he put in a sensational run to take gold in the men's standing class. The 21-year-old, who is ranked first in the IPC Alpine Skiing World Rankings, made an impressive start and managed to get through the flatter middle section of the course in good time. He powered his way through the final stages of the course, picking up speed. The victory was his second gold of the championships with an impressive time of 1 minute 12.49 seconds. Zalcher's teammate Matthias Lanzinger wasn't far behind in second place while Switzerland's Michael Brugger took bronze. Es war kein einfacher Sieg. Ähm, ich habe gestern eben den ganzen Druck von meinen Schultern gelassen und heute wunderbar ohne Druck gefahren, jeden Schwung optimal erwischt und echt grandios. After really pushing off to pick up speed at the start of the race, Japan's Taiki Mori kept a close line to the gates, really leaning into the turns as he picked up speed with his characteristic aggressive ski style. Mori is a Super G silver medalist at Vancouver and at the last World Championships in Sestriere, but in La Molina, he finally got his hands on gold. And it was full steam ahead as he went full pelt down the final stages of the race. Like Wednesday's downhill, the men's sitting class was a real nail biter. The lead changed hands several times and in the end, just 0.2 seconds separated the top three finishers. France's Johan Tabelet was just one hundredth of a second behind Marie to take silver.
and Marie's teammate, the 26-year-old Paralympic champion, Akiro Kano, took bronze. ジャパン。はい。えっと、すごくエキサイティングなレースだったと思います。はい。え、すごくエキサイティングレーストゥデイ。えっと、昨日のダウンヒルのレースがすごく悔しい結果だったので、えっと、すごく今嬉しく感じ